What's up guys, Coach Leo here, Certified Strength and Conditioning Specialist. And we have a three-part series for you this time around, and it's how to get faster. I'm gonna show you guys six exercises on how to implement them, how to use them, and how they're gonna make you faster. The first two exercises that I'm gonna to explain today are the A March and falling starts. So I'm gonna give you guys a brief description on how to do these exercises. If you want a detailed explanation as to why we do them and how they help you, stick around towards the end so that way you can really understand why we do these. So first things first, the A March. We, the way you perform this exercise is, is you stay keeping your arms at 90 degrees and driving your knees up and down, up and down. It seems a little robotic, but the whole point is you're driving, trying to maintain form as you go through. Again, driving the knee up, driving the knee down, keeping your arms at 90 degrees as you're going through. So the second exercise is falling starts. You're gonna start on your feet, both feet together as close as possible. You're gonna prop yourself up onto your toes and then fall forward. As you fall forward, when you get to that last edge that you feel like you can't, you're gonna hit, you're gonna hit the ground, then that's when you drive, you get that knee up and you sprint all the way down. So here's the point why we do these exercises. First off, go back, back to the A march. We do the A march to build a foundation of how you should be running and being efficient when you're sprinting. We're focusing mainly on linear straight line speed like a lot of sprinters do. So when you're driving, when you're doing the A march, it's taking that full on sprint motion and bringing it down to that simple A march. You're driving the knee up and as your knee goes up, your arm should match your leg. So your, your arm is at 90 degrees, your leg is at 90 degrees, and then you drive back down. While you're doing this, you make sure that your ball of your foot is making contact with the ground, and you have in your mind that you are trying to generate as much force into the ground and pull the ground behind you as you're moving forward. Now, again, this is just a march, so you're just practicing form. You think your thumb is trying to get to, to your eye line, line of sight, and then back into your back pocket. So next, the falling start. The reason we do the falling starts is because it simulates you a full-on sprint, and then we continue to simulate that knee drive. That knee drive is perfect because then that next step you allows you to pull your, your whole momentum all the way through. So as you're doing this again, you wanna make sure that you wait to the very last second that you feel that you can no longer get that knee up. The later, the better, so that way you can get a quicker, you get used to having to have a quicker reaction to it. As you're driving through, make sure that the same emphasis sticks in your mind that when your ground, when your foot touches the ground, you're trying to generate as much force as possible, pushing the ground away and getting to the next step. It's not about how fast I can touch the ground and get my knee up. It's about putting that force into the ground and pulling yourself forward. All right guys, so those are your first two exercises for this week. Again, A March, falling starts. If you like this video and want more, make sure you like and subscribe. We got the other four exercises coming up on the following weeks.